Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having a great day so far. We are going to be taking a look at what is manifesting for you at this moment. What's going on around you in your situation with you and the person that's on your mind, if any. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. And if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's what is going on for you at this moment. I'm seeing that what is showing up here in the past we have temperance so I'm seeing that you've been trying to find some sort of balance or solution here finding a resolution I do see that there's a situation that you are really replaying in your mind a lot of thinking in the past here with the cassette we have outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head and I do see that you found you did find a solution here. You found a part of peace for yourself, inner peace, because you've broken free from something that has been conditioned. We have the hierophant and it came out reverse. So I am seeing that this has to do with some sort of spiritual path. Or tradition that was passed down that was kind of conditioned to, to you here but you broke free from this commitment I see you had freed yourself with this Sun card freeing yourself in order for yourself to be happy you were really focused on illuminating things that were true to you that would help you find balance in your life find a solution and do things in moderation there's someone showing up as a queen of cups could be a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpio who has been very open when it comes to their emotions sensitive intuitive and I'm seeing that this person has been emotionally invested into you but Things have been definitely kind of in limbo here. They've looked at things from a different perspective. So let's take a look at you right now. Okay. Right now, I do see that you're getting a lot of attention with this six of wands. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but a lot of people have their eyes on you. And I see that people see you as somebody who has public success and you are very focused on getting what you want, fighting for what you want. But there's been a breakdown in communication, four of wands reversed, with, with somebody who you were committed to, um, or even a community that you committed yourself to. I see you wanting to clear up or trying to find forgiveness. We have the Five of Swords reverse. So I do see that there is someone who you did have a, a tough conversation. A lot of things were said um, coming from each each part here and I see with this five of swords you're trying to reconcile things or make things right 
wanting to have a meeting or a conversation, we do have the coffee cup. I do see that there is a meeting or conversation that is very necessary in order for things to kind of get cleared up and talked about for there to be healing in a situation. I do see that you are savoring the moment and there's a part of you that is starting to feel uplifted with this this battle that you've been through where you're now starting to see that you're almost there we have friendships so you could be dealing with somebody who you consider a friend to you having a conversation meeting with someone who gives you some sort of advice we have the page of swords as somebody around you so this is communication coming um, towards you somebody wanting to have a serious conversation but it is it is a small conversation that you have with this person. I don't see this person having much to say, but they want to have a talk and they want to speak their truth to you. It, this has to do with an ending, Ten of Swords. Somebody wants to have a talk about some sort of pressure, about things kind of being on thin ice here, something that this person feels like was very painful. They want to t have a talk about what they've been kind of thinking. So I see that this person feels like they've been kind of hurt by you. They've You've put them through some sort of pain, something that you said that they took uh, as hurtful. So the reason why I say that is because there's someone around you, either the person on your mind or someone that you know, they're feeling uh, a lot of disappointment and heartbreak right now with the Three of Swords. So they're in Heartbreak City over here. And they're definitely going through some mental turmoil. They're, I see this person is feeling very gutted. They feel like this situation is has kind of broken a little bit and they've given up nine of sort nine of wands reversed so a part of them has given up but i do see that they they do want there to be nurturing and healing but they're trying to also protect themselves and protect their heart they see you as kind of trying to redeem yourself in this situation five of pentacles reverse trying to uh open up a door and see if there can be a conversation so they see you they see that a part of you is trying talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hoovering so they have been waiting for communication here they've definitely been waiting for this and they want to talk as well but they see you as being unsure having doubts about a relationship And I do see that this person wants changes. They do want these things to change here, but they're also trying to put themselves first, their self-love. So let's take a look at the near future for you. We have the Four of Swords reverse where it's showing me that you're in the near future, you're getting out of a place where you've done all the healing, you've done all the resting, all those things. You're getting out of it now. And you're starting to look at things differently. But I do see that you're, you're being a little bit harsh on yourself here. You're taking action towards abundance. Something for, for the long term here. A happily ever after. We have the Ten of Pentacles and Abundance. I do see you trying to keep a positive mindset. It's like your, your mentality or your thinking is shifting, manifesting exactly what you want through gratitude. I'm seeing bliss. Now you're taking what you've planned into action. And 
I see that there's another conversation, another conversation here coming from you where you're starting, you want to talk about something that could have been done differently with this judgment. I do see that a part of you has kind of looked back and, and observed and judged the situation that has happened where now you want to talk about it. Now you want to talk about how things could have been different, what you could have done different or what they could have done different. This person really does care about you. Again, with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could definitely be be dealing with a water sign. You could have water in your chart or this person has water in their chart. But this is somebody who is very emotionally mature and ready to give love to you, show you love. They have a lot of love to give, but they are protecting themselves okay they do really care about you otherwise they wouldn't be hurt at in this situation right now right so they've been waiting for this conversation from you or they've been waiting for you to apologize for something so let's look let's look at the outcome here We have the Emperor, which is Aries, someone older, someone could also be a father figure. Okay. I'm seeing that your intentions down the line, it looks like you are trying to take things slower with the Knight of Pentacles because you don't you want to make sure that you don't get hurt heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack you don't want to get stabbed in the back so I do see that a part of you is working very slowly or moving very slowly but focusing on your your finances and trying to get stable in your life I'm seeing that a part of you is just feels like you need to be in a place in your life first before you can be ready for something more serious. And this this is definitely going to hurt someone. This king of swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this shows me that somebody definitely feels um, colder. They're going cold or detached. From their emotions because of the fact that you are choosing your stability first before you can be in something serious some of you just see this person as a friend and nothing more so let's get some details and specifics here Yeah, didn't I just say you're focused on your stability before anything more serious? You have occupation in your outcome. I just see you really being consistent and working away because this emperor has big goals. This emperor is wants to be a ruler, wants to be in a position of power and authority. And I see that this is something that you feel like you need in your life before you can be available for a relationship in your past we have a journey so there could have been back and forth travel uh, traveling to see each other someone could live at a distance or it could be quite a drive to see each other um, right now it does look like somebody is definitely concerned there's concern over this situation here on your part and on their part the numbers I'm seeing is 10 33 and 34 so with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.